I was having a conversation with a friend, Aikido friend, long time. Uh, and he was saying to me, you know, we stand and face each other and someone attacks and the other person tries to learn how to control or dominate that person. And we practice this over and over again. And maybe we even get really good at it, but how is that going to reconcile the world and, and create one family or a world of peace? And I thought for a minute and I said, well, it's interesting how you describe your practice as if the person were attacking you and you were actually trying to defend yourself. And I know for a lot of people that is what they're doing in there and, and for good reason. It's a dangerous world. And it is nice to have some physical capability. But to me, it's actually the byproduct because the attack that I deal with I'm never physically attacked, and I know people are, I know it can happen, but what we are attacked by is the same rush of energy that we get when we're attacked. Smaller degrees of it, of course, and so I said to him, by simulating the attack, when you attack me, you help me practice seeing myself deal with that rush of energy so that hopefully not only I don't go deer in the headlights, but I am able to align with that energy in a way that it makes me more effective, which is, I believe, its original intent. The founder said, without Budo, the way of the warrior, a nation goes to ruin, because Budo is the life of loving protection and is the source of the activities of science. True Buddha is a work of love. It's a work of giving life to all beings and not killing or struggling with each other. Love is the guardian deity of everything. Nothing can exist without it. Aikido is the realization of love. And so, depending on what you're practicing, the Aikido could produce something very different. Harmonious solution, a peaceful reconciliation, not an escalating opposition, not a tightening down and opening and allowing a flowing. If I'm practicing dealing with that reactivity or rush of energy or my response to being surprised or startled and start to handle that in a better way when people say things to me that are disturbing in conversations and I might get reactive and say something that would increase the reactivity of the conversation. With this knowledge, with this practice, I'm able to listen to that energy that's going on in me, that rush, that reactivity. I'm much more in harmony with it, and so I generate more harmony in my communication with others. To me, that's what Aikido is about. I certainly would like the martial side of my technique to be effective, and I do think we need to check ourselves for an occasional illusionectomy as we train with our friends and try and keep it as real as possible. But if that's all that you're interested in is fighting, then my recommendation is go out and fight. Start with like really small people and, and work your way up as you get better. But if you're looking to develop your ability to create more peace in the world, then working with that rush of energy and learning how to work in harmony with it and watching yourself, whether you'd rather confront or oppose someone rather than consider something with them or have a conversation or a dialogue. Watch your own tone and see what you're adding to the world. And if it is fighting, you may believe that that's the only solution. But I actually believe that the only sustainable course for humanity at this point is learning how to deal with this rush of energy and this reactivity and bringing that into our interactions so we create greater harmony and function together more intelligently as an individual who is more in harmony with themselves functions more intelligently. Create a beautiful world. <laughs>